Hey guys, well I figured uh, today I'll show you guys an unboxing of the vintage Radio Shack Tormentor. So high low gears, high speed and low speed traction, monster tires, which I don't think they're bigger than the um, Midnight Pumpkins. Seven functions. So you got, well I guess stop, I don't think that's really a function, but forward left, forward and forward right, and reverse that. And then you also have uh, high speed forward, I guess. So that's like your seven functions. That's the same picture again. There's the original barcode and everything for it. For intermediate drivers. And here's the available accessories. So everything's all Radio Shock. I, I remember those batteries. NICADs. Rechargeable racing batteries. And then it came with this battery charger option. And so you could charge it on board. You didn't have to take the batteries out. Which now it's kind of frowned upon because who knows when the battery goes up and it'll wreck your car and stuff, right? So then the front wheel alignment thing, which is for the different front bumper part from my uh, updated uh, pumpkin. And it's got the suspension parts and stuff. And you got the stacks on the side, black bars, but the same front, same wheels as the uh, curb sweeper. Yeah, that's it. And uh, this one is 27 megahertz, which is like everything else. And I like this how it actually says, requires a 9 volt and 8 AA batteries. Which I happen to have here still. It's from uh, when I drove the pumpkin. And um, so some of the decals that were on the truck, originally new. Radio Shack had to get theirs on there, right? And you know, that was about it. Uh, I think there was another on top of here. I'll show you that when we get inside. So anyhow... I don't think I can do this one handed, so I'll have to lift it off. Alright, so I lifted it up. It's coming off. Setting it down. Actually, nothing inside the box. Not like the trike, right? Alrighty, so the cardboard box. We have three flaps to fold down. Well, that one opens. That one opens. And that one. And then we lift up the top, and the sides come off. Look at that, we have the original owner's manual. So inside of here I know, because I've had this open, there's the optional parts and stuff. And there we go. So a monster truck and tormentor. These stickers came off the truck. Not sure where, but they're here with it. How to align the wheels, how to drive it, the controller generic uh, instructions <laughs> in the truck transmitter all the batteries required for it are available at your local radio shack I don't know why they hyphenated it but oh well uh, it says best to drive on smooth surfaces well yeah, yeah and FCC create problems user replaceable parts Oh, it looks like you could buy a whole body. And it uh, shows bigger tires than what it came with, right? So, oh, there we go. So, a transmitter. That was the part numbers. Battery door, battery door transmitter, hardware kit, rear suspension pillar, bumper guard, trucker's manual, rear wheel assemblies, owner's manual, which, you know, not showing an exploded view for obvious reasons. And then, uh, this must have been an insert put into there afterwards, uh, after they got it done. So anyhow, back there at the truck, what we got here, we got this lifts out, this lifts out, and here we have the, the remote. Now originally, it sat in here, the two pegs, and then the antenna stuck through up there. So I'm not sure exactly how it was put in here, but... So we got this done. Here's the remote wrapped in a piece of wax paper. So you got forwards and then you got turbo. So you feel and obviously click there. And then turbo. And then your left and right. The battery case is actually there. All the stuff for it. 
so that's pretty good. It reminds me a lot of that street comber. Um, so let's get pull the truck out. So first thing I notice is that it has the colored fenders. The fenders are colored front and back. And around the grill is black and stuff down there. Same bumpers, same grill, same tires. Has stacks on it though. Same bumper. They're still all intact. Uh, high low is the same. I think even the cage is the same as the other one. Not sure about the shocks if they're different. Uh, one screw once again to lift it up. There's, that's probably where that street comber sticker came from. There's nothing molded into there to say where it's what model it is, but it's obviously a Ford. Underneath. Exactly the same. Still got the Radio Shack thing here. And uh, opens up underneath. You got the manual steering. So all that looks good. Just going to set it down here and see if we can get this door open and take a look underneath here. So because I got that other truck, I don't really need this one anymore. And here's a neat little trick. So you guys still remember what these are, right? Pennies? <laughs> Give this a turn with a coin. It worked really good. And then you open it up. And yep, this one's uh, blocked off too. And the pumpkin, there's a. It's open. You can see where these are supposed to go. Like it should have one of these, but it's not there. And you can change out the crystal right on the board. You don't have to uh, bother being 27 or 49. You could use all the 27 megahertz things. And this is the UM3 batteries. You can see there in reflection and everything. So, anyhow, what do you say we throw some batteries in here and see how she actually drives? So there's a whole pack of Rayovac batteries in there. And I remember to actually put this in the right way. That used to bug me so much as a kid and forgetting that. I used to have an old Radio Shack two-wheel drive doom buggy thing and nothing was worse than uh, forgetting that and not being able to get the batteries out. So now they're in, on my pumpkin, this is just taped over, but that hole is actually there. So I have my battery tray, and I got Infinity Gold. Oh, it's a Rayovac too. I thought it might have been a co-op one for a while. So anyway, let's pop that in the remote and see if we can get some action. Another handy trick. If that uh, battery doesn't fit in there right, the penny sure holds it in place. So here we go, first try. Hey, that works. Except for it's not uh, two-handed operation, right? Or one-handed one. It's not proportional at all. I don't know if you can tell that I'm giving it any, but what I liked about these two is when they were on carpet, they never went straight. So, a little fast, faster! Believe it or not, that's in low range too. You can actually change on the back there, the high and low, and then it'll really move. So hey, works pretty good, like, you know, other than the fact it takes a pile of AA batteries and a 9 volt, works really well. It's hard to believe that just that little penny back there, that makes the connection work good. And that's uh, also what you need to get those batteries out of that truck again when you're done. See, there's no in between, it's just turn or not turn. And the uh, Tamiya I have actually is proportional to what I turn the steering wheel so shows the difference in quality All right. so I uh, set it up there, it was bugging out for a little bit I was setting it up on the desk but oh well works good for me and hopefully it'll make somebody happy when they get that because I'm going to sell this again I think so until next time see you guys a little bonus clip for you guys too remember that strap that I put in there underneath the batteries? this is why
You just pull them out just like that. Dump them in the container. All you really need to do is be able to get one out and then they'll all come. See? Just like that. And these will be good again. Still playing my pumpkin, so. There we go. I just gotta organize my battery tray because every time I move it, it falls over. So until next time, now we'll see ya. Mm -hmm.